Good morning, YouTubers. It's Zach with Tevis Architects. I'm out here on uh, lot one of our Trace Forest build. Um, and as you can see, we've got uh, quite a bit of activity since our last update. So I'm going to take you on up uh, to the site and show you what we've been up to. So, begin, you'll see we got some steel on site. Um, all of our steel beams for our forest structure. Um, all of our steel for our roof supports and our big open expanses of glass um, are on site here. Our framers have been working for a couple of days now. Um, they've got the four deck done for most of the house. And as you can see, they're starting to stand up some of our panelized walls today. So in an earlier video, uh, I talked a little bit about uh, the panelized construction and that all of our walls were built in a factory and then loaded onto semis and shipped out here. Um, so here you can see kind of up close some of the, the wall sections. Uh, we did uh, choose to spec the zip panels um, for all of our uh, wall sheathing and our roof sheathing. Um, but as you can see, they've started, it's about 8.30 in the morning here. And they just started standing walls. And I'm going to venture to say that probably, most likely, by the end of today, um, all of our walls will be set. to run down to the basement here real quick uh, and give just a an overview of some of our framing um, so you can see our, our floor deck is all up um, you can see some of the really large steel beams that we've used to carry some of that load uh, in here and they will uh, eventually replace these uh, temporary supports here with uh, an, an adjustable steel pipe column that'll come down to sit on the footings that we poured under the slab in these areas. Uh, but one thing we did do, and you can see it really well here, is uh, we chose to upset that steel beam, um, meaning that we don't see anything hanging down here um, in the basement. We've only got nine foot walls down here, and um, so that helps us maintain a full nine foot high ceiling through the, the entire basement space. Um, on the larger beam over here, you can see it does hang down a little bit. Um, in order to span that distance, we needed a, a significantly larger steel beam. Um, so that, that does, those beams are still hung um, to minimize that that distance, but that should make it a lot easier for us to root our AC ducts and all of uh, all the other utilities that have to get in here. Um, it'll also help this family room space down here in the basement uh, just feel really, really large. Um, the hole you're seeing here, that will eventually be our stairs that will come down. You can see we've got a line ch uh, chalked on the wall already for where the stair run and the landing goes. And then, this is actually a late addition. This is something that Terry wanted to do and I think it's brilliant. Um, this large window that was added behind the bar over here. Um, just gonna make this really not feel like a basement space. And of course the efforts that we've made to maintain quite a bit of the vegetation, the trees and greenery surrounding this lot. Um, just gonna make this a really nice view from the basement. I wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about just what you're seeing here in our window frames. Um, we have a protective vapor barrier wrap that, that runs around the outside of this structure. Um, and that wrap has to be folded up and into our window plates, into our sills here. Um, that does two things. One, it, it creates a continuous barrier all the way uh, to our openings. 
two, um, as we screw in the windows, uh, they'll actually go through this kind of sticky membrane, um, which will help seal that up. The whole point of that is to prevent moisture, to prevent water from getting between the insulation and, and the wall. Because um, once that moisture, once that water gets in there, it's only got one way to come out, and that's into the house. So you'll see on all of our uh, doors and windows, our wrap is coming all the way back inside the sills, um, especially at the at the lower sides of the windows, um, and that is all there to to make sure that we maintain that that watertight seal. Wanted to take a few minutes to show you uh, our dumpster on the site. You might think, well, that's kind of weird. Why is he talking about our dumpster? One of the advantages of going with uh, factory built construction or, or panelized construction is uh, a real minimalization of waste. Um, our framers that are on site here don't have to make a lot of cuts. Uh, we don't have a lot of extra scraps or wood pieces. So, as you can see, we've ordered a 20 yard dumpster up here. This is our, our first dumpster on the site. Um, and by the time we end up finishing framing today, um, we still only have about half of this filled. So it's a very e efficient use of material. Um, it's a, I guess, a more conscientious, eco-friendly way of, of doing construction, especially when so much of our uh, landfill waste is generated by the construction industry. Um, so it's something that, as part of our net zero, uh, efforts we care a lot about. Um, it's something that you won't find. It's not, it's not typical on a lot of construction sites, but it's something we're very proud of.